In today's video, I am going to share with you my first flight experience. So I took this video when I'm already uh, inside the van going to Manila and no one in my family in Mindoro was able to take me to the airport. Don't get them wrong because they really want to take me to the airport however we are already short in terms of budget so i just told them not to and i don't want a crying moment in the airport and i just told them that oh my brother in manila or maybe a cousin could take me to the airport so yeah i just go to manila without them so I already passed the immigration questions and proceed to gate one and wait. Okay, boarding time. I'm at a window seat, so I'm very lucky to capture this video. <laughs> I don't really know what to feel that time. I'm, I remember I was too excited and nervous at the same time, but it's more of like excitement because that would be my first time uh, flying an international flight is that how you say it and i have a connecting flight uh, to hong kong so i would be flying from philippines to hong kong for uh, i think two hours yeah and then this was my first meal so so it's very hard to open while i'm taking a video so i tried the wine and then the juice and then that's what the food of course there is so rice i'm not sure a, a chicken broccoli i'm not sure what what is that dish really and then yeah i just enjoy eating <laughs> So I'm eating calmly and I'm trying wine. Uh, that was my first time trying a red wine. I haven't tried red wine in my life before. So when I first tried the red wine, <laughs> while well, I'm, I'm riding an airplane, um, I remember I my head got heated and then i feel like my face started to turn red and then my i palpitate I, I palpitate i remember i palpitate and then and then i just <laughs> i just sleep yeah i didn't expect that the red wine is was too strong i thought it's sweet but it's not yeah i have only tasted uh white wine before but that was my first time uh trying <laughs> red wine in an airplane well it was my aunt who suggested it but yeah i'm glad she suggested it because i really enjoyed it she made my first international flight experience very memorable my co-Filipina told me to hurry up and finish my red wine because she asked the FA to give her gin or it's an alcoholic drink in the Philippines. She asked the FA to give her that and then she told me to have a one shot and yeah, that, w that was me hurrying to finish the red wine which is not good because I think that that's because I got palpitated. So we landed at Hong Kong International Airport and we are now boarding a new flight going to the country that I am going to, which you will know before the end of this video. And then I will just uh, tell you a short story because my first culture shock happens in Hong Kong when I went to the comfort room they don't have um, I know they don't have Tabo but they don't have bidet anyway Hong Kong Airport 
was very huge and I like that they have charging station and Wi-Fi and that's the meal that Fin Air has for us and of course I am in a window seat and I like that they have this small TV and an earphone and then this food desk and then they also have a blanket. I enjoy this very much. I know this is very small thing for you guys, but I enjoy this very much. Yeah, and I appreciate this because uh, it's a long travel from Hong Kong to Helsinki. So that's right. <laughs> I am going to the happiest country in the world, Finland, and yeah, I'm just enjoying this whole new experience. If I'm going to be in details, I made things that is so embarrassing during that travel, which I'm not going to share, but I know a lot of you will agree that at some point in your life, you made things that is so embarrassing. So I landed safe at Helsinki airport and then I remember I have a pack lunch of rice and adobo so I decided to eat it as soon as I went out of the airport and then after eating adobo and it's time for me to go out and this was my first time stepping into the snow. My excitement made me lie down and try making an imperfect snow angel.